through this morning. We're previewing an event full of food, entertainment, and more. Emily Deem is live in Fond du Lac to explain. Hi, Em. Good morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everybody. Take a look at the outfit I'm wearing right now. This it's is a gorgeous, traditional em. Indian sari. Isn't it beautiful, Rachel? It's just unbelievable, the detail. And do you know, this is silk. It is beautiful. All right, we got to tell everybody what I am wearing right now. And, and Nima, you have to explain this because it's just beautiful. Nima is actually a retired librarian from Marine Park Technical College. She's going to be teaching everybody about the Indian culture tomorrow at Multicultural Day. But first, Nima, tell everyone about um, the sari that I'm wearing right now. This is a pure silk sari. And uh, this is not what you use every day, uh, but the ladies have vial or a very thin cotton material that they use so you can wash and dry. Uh, this one is silk, so it needs to be uh, go to the laundry and all that. So, how long is a sari? Sari is uh, six yards. Six yards long, and there's no stitching, there's no pins. No, you wrapped it on me. Yeah, you put a you, you ladies put the. You know, slip inside, and but the slip needs to have a uh, you know tying type, not the elastic, because otherwise it will uh, come out. So and then you keep tucking the the six yards material uh, on the on the person. Is this outfit too for special occasions, like we were talking about? Yeah, this is a special occasion. Um, now let's talk about if you can see the dot that I have right up here. Nima, tell me about the dot and what it represents in the Indian culture. Yeah, that dot. Uh, even the non-married girls also can use it, but after marriage, uh, it means you are married. And uh, if you if you don't have your husband, you dies before you do, uh, then you don't wear that. So it's a kind of a symbol of married lady. Now you're going to have a booth um, at the multicultural day tomorrow. What what do you really want people to learn about the Indian culture? What do you want them to take away from it tomorrow at the event? What do, you want? what do you want them to learn about the outfits, about everything? What do you want them to experience, the people coming and learning? Yeah, I will have uh, much more, uh, you know, uh, dolls and so on, so to show, show them, you know, what it is and different dresses with that. And uh, I'll also talk to them about the different languages that India has, and I can show them how to do, how we say hello, namaste. Namaste? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, and uh, when you come uh, to your house, uh, you say namaste. When you go by back, you say namaste. Well, so, namaste. Yeah. Thank you so much, Nima, for being with us this morning and wrapping me in this beautiful sari. I, I don't even want to take it off, but it's pure silk, so I just don't want to ruin anything at all. So thank you so yeah, much for yeah. being with us. Multicultural today, uh, tomorrow, Multicultural Day at Moraine Park Technical College. You have to come check it out. You're going to learn so much. I already have this morning. We still have a whole other segment coming up in the 8 o'clock hour. So for now, namaste. <laughs> okay. Namaste. Thanks, Thanks Emily.